Okay, routing types. So how many types of routing? Routing type, and as we mentioned, there are two types of routing, static routing and deep dynamic routing. So in the static routing, we know what we do is we configure ourselves as a network administrator, you configure in which direction you need to go. Okay, so basically you configure on your router that I want to go into this direction or I want to go into this direction and you have to configure manually yourself. The static route, as you can see, if you are at Heathrow Airport Connect, there is a map here. And if you want to go from Terminal 3 to Terminal 2, you need to follow particular direction. Okay, and that direction has to be in your mind. So it means that previously you have learned this direction. You are not using any Google map or any other um, application which is directing you to the particular direction. So when you configure a static route, basically, the route must be unidirectional. So for example, on that static route point of view, what we do is we configure the, on this router, let's say there is a machine here and they want to reach to 172.16.1.0. They will, this machine information come to the, the, to the, to the router. Okay, and it say I want to go to the 172.16.1.0. It will concern the routing table, and you will see it say, okay, Mr. Um, if you want to go to 172.16.1.100, so exit from my S0 interface. And the other thing you can see, it's a unidirectional. So for example, if you, if this administrator, you are the administrator of this router, you will be configuring direction of this route into this direction, or if you are network administrator for this route, you need to configure the on this direction as well. Is that clear? So route must be unidirectional mean that there is, if you configure the route for 172.16.1.0, it doesn't mean that the other side, because think about always source and destination. So when you are leaving from your house to the uh, Heathrow airport, you are going, you reach the Heathrow, but if you want to come back, you need to know the, this will be the source and this will be the destination. Am I right? Okay. So always keep in mind source and destination. So you need to, you need to check the both way, not one way. Okay. Always keep in mind, this is the source where you leave and this is the destination. And if you want to come back again, the traffic, this is a two way traffic. Traffic need to go here and the traffic need to come back. Okay, so this will be source and then this will be destination. So there is always unity, keep in mind. Now, that's called the static route concept and the dynamic route. Dynamic route, we will do this uh, in a couple of minutes.